Welcome to Audio Design Desk. Each sound in AdApp understands where it is meant to sync to video. For example, using other audio tools, to place a rise in the right spot, you have to place it in manually and figure out where it needs to go. But AdApp knows where the zenith of the rise is, so when you place it, it's immediately in the right spot. This extends to all 20,000 sounds in AdApp. Door slams, gunshots, transitions, drones, whatever you want. As a result, you can replace one sound with another without losing sync. AdApp also allows users to perform sounds in real time. Footsteps, drums, gunshots, and so on. Now assuming you've downloaded AdApp at add.app, open up the program and let's create. The first thing we'll do is bring in a video. There's a couple ways to do this. You can bring one in from Vimeo or YouTube, or you can import a video from your hard drive. AdApp has a bunch of key commands for different sonic selections. Click D to bring in a drone. Click R to bring in a rise. H to bring in a hit. You can actually keep hitting any of these to get layers. Feel free to get silly with it. Press return to go to the beginning of your sequence and press spacebar to play. You just created your first composition. One of the most remarkable things AdApp can do is take the sounds you've put in and replace them with entirely new sounds that will be in the same positions as the originals. Select all by typing Command A and replace everything by typing Command R. Let's listen to that back. All the sounds have been replaced while the sync has been maintained. You can keep pressing Command R and it will continuously replace your tracks with new sounds. Say you like everything except this sound right here. We can select this and type Command R and it will replace that sound. You can lock a track by clicking Shift L. If you lock a track, you can change things around it without altering the track that's locked. To unlock, type Shift L again. If you want to have more specificity with how AdApp replaces sound, you can do that by going into the Replacements Parameter tab and changing the intensity level. We'll select everything in our timeline by pressing Command A, then press Command R to replace. Let's listen. Intense. The Replace tab has a lot of tools to help you find and refine the sound you want, so play around with it until you find something you like. Let's say you really like your original compositions, but also this new level 5 composition. You can save different versions by selecting Save as New Version using the versions pull down above the timeline. We'll press Undo to get back to our original and save this as its own version. Now when we look in the versions menu, we can see that they're both saved right here. If you want to find a specific sound to put in, like an explosion for example, type Option G and the magic marker window will pop up. Here you can search. Let's search explosion. This brings up about 60 different explosion sounds. We'll search through and find something we like. We can audition by pressing spacebar. I want a big explosion, so I'll select level 5 intensity, and the really intense explosion sounds will come up. Perfect. Press enter and the sound will be added to the timeline. Let's listen. Ka-boom. We've learned about entering in and replacing sounds, plus saving different versions. Now let's move on to using AdApp for Foley and sound design. We'll bring in a new video. And this is just a simple video of walking, knocking on a door, opening and closing it. There are hundreds of presets in AdApp that you can lay down for quick and easy sound. You can use these presets verbatim, or get creative and replace some of the sounds or move them around. Now we've placed our preset, we can type Command R to make a whole new composition. Now what if we want to add footsteps? We can go into the search menu, select footsteps, element, concrete, and boot long. We'll right-click this sound and select Assign to Trigger, number one. Now we can see that it is in our trigger menu. Now that footsteps are linked to the one key on our keyboard, we can perform the sounds in real time. Press L to play at half speed. This helps with accuracy. But maybe we don't like those footsteps. We can go back to our search menu and select a different type. Let's select Pavement and then Hard Soul. Now select all of these and go to the Category window and click on Category Footsteps. It selects all your footsteps. Now press Shift Enter, and your footsteps have been replaced. Let's search for a door knock sound. We'll go to our search window and type in door knock. All these sounds will come up, and we can audition them as we like by pressing spacebar. 
We'll drag them where they need to go, but you can also input the sound by typing Shift Enter. Line up the sound where you want it, select it, and type Shift Enter. If you want to move sounds laterally, you can Shift Drag. If you Shift Drag, their timing will be maintained, but you can change the tracks they're on. If you want to get rid of empty tracks, select them and press the Delete key. If you want to move a sound a frame at a time, you can press Shift Left or Right arrow. And now the door has been knocked. Let's add a door slam. Line it up where you want the slam to hit. Now press Option G and our magic marker window will pop up. We'll type in door slam and a bunch of options for door slams will come up. Now we'll select intensity 3 and let's pick this one. Press return to send the sound to your timeline. Now we've got a door slam. Now if we type shift R, the replacement window will come up and we can search similar sounds straight from the timeline. Ooh, that one's nice. Press enter and now the sound is in your timeline. Another useful thing is the ability to replace a sound with something that is either longer or shorter than what you have. Highlight it and type command up or command down arrow to lengthen or shorten it. You can also drag out the length of a clip with the time stretch tool, and then when you type command R with it highlighted, it will replace the clip with something that's about that length. If we type shift G, it'll bring up the mini effects window. This is useful if you want to change the pitch, gain, panning, or BPM, or if you want to place an effect on it. Let's take this door slam and make it louder by upping the gain, and make it deeper by lowering the pitch. We can freeze tracks by selecting them and pressing Shift M. The selected regions are now frozen. I can press Shift M again, and they're unfrozen. You'd freeze a track if you want to apply an effect like a flanger to multiple sounds at once. So we've made this cool composition for our video, and there are so many sounds we like and might want to use again in the future. So to check them out, we can look at the session playlist to see the sounds we're using in the order in which we used them. We can create a new playlist. Let's figure this out. Good. Good title. And then copy these specific sounds, and now that they're in this playlist, we can use them in a different project by opening the playlist. Now, if you're like me, you like having a lot of sounds and want a nice fat composition. Let's go crazy. And now things look a little messy. I can press Option Command T to organize the tracks so they're grouped by type. See now, doesn't that look a lot nicer? Now let's listen to this crazy track. If you've ever used an application like this, or any video editing software, then these next set of tools should be pretty familiar. Press A for the arrow tool. The arrow tool lets you select and move items in your timeline. Press C for the cut tool. The cut tool allows you to edit sounds for manipulation. Press F for the fade tool. The fade tool will add a nice fade in or fade out, depending on which side of the clip you click. You can click on the clip where you want the fade to start or end. Press E for the time stretch tool. When time stretch is selected, you can drag the end of an audio clip and it'll stretch the sound to last as long as you want while maintaining pitch and sync. Select global tempo to have your clips sync up to your current BPM. Ours is set at 120 right now. If you want your sound to play in reverse, highlight it and press V. You can also select multiple sounds and type V and they'll all play in reverse. Typing shift up or shift down will change the gain up or down. You can select multiple sounds, and by typing Command-G, you can turn them all into a group. A group will act as a single unit, so you can move them all together. The key command to add music, or what's called full mix in the program, is Z. Let's listen. Now go to the Replace menu, and we can replace the genre of the full mix to fit what you want. Highlight the track you want to replace, and select the genre you want. Type Command-R, and your full mix will be replaced. There are also many loops in AdApt that you can utilize. Go to the search menu and type loop to see all the looped sounds. You can narrow down your selection by selecting music, element, loop, drums for a drum track, and instrumental for an instrumental track. Now if you want something similar but different, you can select your tracks, go into the replacement tab, and click level 1 and replace all. Now you have a new looping composition. You can also change how AdApp replaces sound by moving the randomness slider. You might want to share the text-based information of your sound work. Just click up here on Export, Q-Sheet. 
AdApp can make a cue sheet for you that contains every sound along with timecode, title, composer, publishing, and album information. To export your masterpiece, simply go to Bounce. There are a lot of parameters up here. I like mine to be at a wave, 96K, 24-bit depth, but look through the menu and use the specs that you want. You can also export the video with your sound files attached straight from AdApp. Type what you want the file to be called, select Save, and boom, your composition has been bounced. Audio Design Desk has a lot more under the hood, so check back in periodically to see all the cool things it can do. Thanks for watching.